So today, I'm going to be talking about um, the blood of Olympus. Yay! Um, the last book in the Heroes of Olympus series. Overall, my thoughts on the Heroes of Olympus series, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Go read it if you haven't, but read the Percy Jackson series if you have now before the reading The Blood of Olympus. Uh, the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, re yeah, I really enjoy it a lot. Um, spoilers. Uh, if you've not read The Blood of Olympus, go read it and then come back to this video and you can compare to see if our thoughts are similar or if they're different, which are wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's talk about Leo. <laughs> Leo Valdez, or King Leo Valdez. I love Leo. Um, I think everyone loves Leo. Um, I almost said Lilo. Leo. <laughs> uh, I really, really enjoy him as a character. I think his humor is wonderful. I think his backstory is wonderful. I think his character is just wonderful. Um, I really enjoy him. I thought that his humor was top notch in this book. <laughs> um, Waterboy. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I just love it so much. Um, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this book. <laughs> um, let's talk about Calypso. We're done. We're done talking with Leo. Oh, and Festus came back, which was awesome. I loved Festus. Yay! Okay, Calypso. <laughs> Calypso. If you've seen my House of Hades review, it's not that much different. <laughs> I'm going to be saying the same thing that I did. I don't think Calypso is a bad character. Not at all. It's just I think that it went too fast, and I don't understand their relationship quite yet. I really, really hope that in Trials of Apollo they go more into depth with Leo and Calypso's relationship so I can love them, hopefully, because <laughs> I would really, really love it, but um, I don't right now. I Calypso wasn't in much of House of Hades, and then at the end, they have like this love hate back and forth relationship, which I find is kind of weird. <laughs> and then this one, she only has like five pages. So you can't really have a full developed relationship in roughly around 30 pages. It's just not something that's going to happen. So I really hope it, they go more into depth with it in the, not the House of Hades, <laughs> the Trials of Apollo. Um, another thing I love about this book is Piper. I loved Piper in this book. Probably one of my favorite books for Piper. If you saw my House of Hades episode, you know that I originally thought that her character development was not there. I was like, so she's more, um, girl boss now, um, anything else? But in this, it really shows how he has gone through the books and how the character develop development has added over time and how it it'll go to this big product, which I really enjoy. Um, I think I didn't quite understand it until I saw the ending of her character to see how far she's gone from the last hero. Jason, once again with the same as the heroes of House of Hades, um, I think he's fine. Fine. Um, in this book, I thought he was pretty good. Um, definitely not my favorite character, but I think he's pretty good. Uh, he did some cool things. Um, him fighting with Zeus was really fun. Um, it's great. I, I really enjoy him. Um, his powers, I don't know what to call them. Like, half-blood things, maybe. Um... That was done really well, in my opinion, in this book. Uh, yeah. Let's go to partially, maybe, one of my favorite parts in the book. The Nico and Reyna perspectives. In House of Hades, I was like, where is Nico's perspective? We need Nico's perspective now. I need it. <laughs> that makes me sound like I'm, I'm crazy. Okay, I'm not a crazy person. It's just that I love Nico. <laughs> 
Miko is great. I absolutely love him as a character. Um, yeah, and I think that him and Will are going to be wonderful. Wonderful. Great. <laughs> Reina, great. Um, they're very, they're both very quiet characters, so, and came to themselves a lot, so I think that it was done really well for us to understand who they are as a character from inside, because I think who they are inside and who they are on the outside are two different people. So I really enjoy it <laughs> a lot. Um, there were actually characters that I wanted a perspective in. And some people were like, but Percy and Annabeth didn't get a perspective. Bad, bad, bad. But I'm like, that's what we have to do to get Nico and Maya's perspective. I'm okay with it. I really did miss their perspective. I'm not going to lie. I really did. When House of Pades, we got majority of it just being their perspective. So I understand why he did it. Um, yeah, Frank and Hazel. Frank and Hazel. <laughs> Frank and Hazel are great characters. Probably one of my favorites in the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, I love their relationship. I love them as separate people. Um, Frank, um, I think is a very good character. I really enjoyed him in this book, especially him being an elephant and fighting with Ares. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Hazel's mist powers were even better in this book. Um, making, um, Leo, like, pretending that the vial was with Piper, but it was actually with Leo. Um, I think it was done really well. I think, just great characters. Um, Octavian. I haven't talked about Octavian yet. Um, Octavian is, like, umbrage, in my opinion. People love to hate him, which, I, in my opinion, makes him a great character. If you can make me hate you as a villain, I think that's... You've done your job. You've done your job. <laughs> it's just when he gets catapulted and he's just like, I'm going to be the hero of Rome. I'm going to be powerful and stuff. And then he ends up getting catapulted. I ended up laughing. <laughs> Oh lord. I went out and was like, I'm sorry you're making so much noise. It's just Octavian got catapulted. My mom's not read Harry. Um, she's not read Harry Potter, but <laughs> we're talking about Percy Jackson. She's not read Percy Jackson and she was like, okay, I have no idea what you mean, but okay. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Um, Gia. I'm living for Gia. Like, great character. Wonderful great character. I love her. <laughs> She's the evil equivalent of Defeaty. <laughs> they mixed together and one's evil and one's nice and I'm just like, yes. And how she came to life, I was kind of wondering how they were going to do that, but I think it was done really well. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the Half-Bloods and the Gods fighting was done so well, yes. <laughs> um, Piper um, and Jason falling, and then, um, and then Leo exploding. Um, I also found a mistake in the book. <laughs> so, um, so when Piper and Jason are falling down, I was really confused about this, but I was like, it's just a mistake. But Piper and Jason are falling down, and then it goes to Nico's perspective, and then Jason's fighting. But then the next page, he's like, and then Jason fell on the ground. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Um, how's that work? <laughs> Maybe it's not a mistake. I, I don't know what it would be, though. <laughs> I really, th I wish that there was more into how they defeated Gia. I still don't understand how the explosion defeated Gia. But I'm like, they have to end the book. So I understand why they did it. It's just I wish there was more there. Um, Coach Hedge was really good in this book. I really enjoyed him. Uh. Over coming back made my heart really happy. <laughs> it's just I wish that he talked to someone. <laughs> I wish there was some character there. It's just like Grover was there. He thought I was gonna disappear. And I'm like, at least have one little conversation with Percy or Annabeth. Just one little one. It could even be like, hey, hi, what are you up to? 
this, and then being like, we gotta go fight. Like, I would be good with that, just please, something. <laughs> I just miss Grover. It's just, I miss Grover. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed this book. If you've not read it, go read it. It's wonderful. I'm now reading the Kang Chronicles, so you'll be seeing a lot of those videos. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, and go watch my House of Hades video if you like Percy Jackson and you've not seen it. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a nice day. Bye!